I grew up in Brooklyn. I was born in India. I like to say the foothills of the Himalayas in a city called Amritsar. Went from there to, to Brooklyn, which I think is another holy city. <laughs> I think yeah. is another incredible city. And so that's, that's where I spent my teenage years. And I work in Hollywood. I don't know if there was one big break as, as there much as much as it was like a steady movement towards towards this life. I said yes. It's just a simple philosophy of saying yes to things. You know, said so someone said, Do you wanna go here? I said yes. Do you wanna try this? I said yes. Do you wanna be in this film? I said yes. You know, it was just this real honest and natural curiosity. I never tried to be an actor. I never sought to be because because in all in all honesty, where would this look come into into Hollywood, right? You know, the, this there's this issue, you know, everyone talks about this in this last year of Oscar so white. And then all of a sudden the Golden Globes you had some black people there. And all of a sudden it was diverse. And it was still the farthest thing from diverse. The world is not black and white. There are so many shades. Uh, in between, and, and I always like to clarify. I know Indian people always like to refer to themselves as brown. I always prefer uh, caramel. I, <laughs> I think it's just tastier. I think it's it's more delectable, and I, I prefer to be caramel than brown. So I so I never intended on doing it. So I, when I did that first film, Life Aquatic, with Wes, I thought that was going to be it, and then it just sort of, you know just snowballed from there. And there was another role, and there was another role. It, I think it was from being on it. This, this is who I am. I'm not going to change to fit into any norm because I've never, I've never fit in. It's really key to know. I think that's quite American. <laughs> like, I am the guy next door. You know, I, I am. You know, the, 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 this, this is, this is America. So I'm not talking politically. I'm just talking about uh, this identity of, 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 of values and what those, what those American values are. And for me growing up, th those were very much similar to my Indian values, and those were very much similar to my Sikh values. And so it didn't feel like, I didn't, I didn't feel like I could either be Sikh or I could be American. It's like those were, those were hand in hand. I'm here to learn, right? It, that, that's, and and, and that, that from the beginning, even the word Sikh means disciple. So, so I take that to heart. I'm a Sikh, but now I'm studying Buddhism, right? I'm, it just came, back uh, from Bhutan, I was there for a week, and, and but just in, beyond that, I'm just, it's, it's a beautiful culture, it's a beautiful religion, and, and I'm, I'm here to learn from whoever and wherever I can, and this idea that if, that if I could even have a little impact on whether it's Sikh children or Indian children or American children, or this idea of living without fear, if, if we can put that into the consciousness right, into, into cultural consciousness, beyond just like, what movie are you in, or what, you know, what fashion show, or what, beyond that, those, you know, those are all exciting and fun things that I get to do, but the most exciting thing is the potential of being able to shift consciousness, right, to empower people. I'm sitting here with you in front of this camera doing this interview, but I'm not special. Like we're all, we're all capable of doing this. We just have to make that decision. And you have to make that decision wholeheartedly and with faith and, and you have to take that leap. So it's, if I can have any role in that, if I can be a part of that shift of consciousness, it can't help but think of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Everything that he spoke of and believed and the way and what, you know, the, the change that was brought about. Um, and, that's, and that struggle continues today. It's, it's a never-ending struggle because for some reason we as humans don't learn. There's a campaign called Black Lives Matter and this is, we're no longer in the 60s. Like isn't that the most obvious statement in the world? All lives matter. This thing of the other, this thing of, and, and for me what's interesting is to be able to talk about it in a culture, in, you know, in cultural magazines and, and, and the, rather, than, rather than in a self-help book or, uh, you know, in a special section, and, you know, like this, day, like, this is the most interesting dialogue that we can have today beyond music, film, and fashion, and all those things. Those are all vehicles, those are all tools. The, the, the most interesting thing is how can we evolve to a higher level, a higher state of consciousness, but together, not me alone. That, that's boring. <laughs> that's like, how can we get there together?